you. You've, you've broken the, the rule that says that good-looking men like you, and you are good-looking, you're a handsome man... Thank you very much. ..should well. never acknowledge it. You should never, <laughs> ever describe yourself as handsome. The moment you do that, you... you you break the rules. It's, it's not acceptable for a man to describe himself as handsome. Well, I think in this country especially, you're immediately thought of as being a big head or yeah. arrogant, and yeah. it's not a very attractive quality to think of yourself as being attractive, I suppose. So, in that so respect... why have you done it? Well, I mean, I was talking about the more broadly about the idea of, of pretty privilege and whether people are privileged by their... the way they look. Um, and I suppose that it does tend to be... Uh, just as you're, you judge people by their gender or by their race, people are judging people by the way they look. And I'm, I'm not sure it's a particularly healthy thing, really. But you seem to be suggesting it's a disadvantage, that you've had, you know, difficulties, people have made assumptions about you because of the way you look. Well, I think sometimes people think... will make snap decisions about what they think you're like based on your looks. So you don't like to, to sort of talk about it, but you wrote a whole piece <laughs> on it. The reason you're here talking <laughs> about it is because you decided to put that out there, that that was how you felt. Yeah, because I think that, that people should... people shouldn't be judging people so much on the way they look. I think it's really shallow and I think it's a very... It's a sort of signifier of our times that we've become so obsessed by... by our physical attributes. But we've always to... been that way. I mean, look at President Kennedy. Yeah. I mean, back in the 50s and into the 60s, Kennedy, one of the reasons that he was so popular and, uh, and, was, and was voted as, in as president was because of his, of his looks. I mean, he was a very handsome guy. It's, it's, it's part of the human condition. Yeah, I think if you're, if you're quietly handsome without sort of, you know, making a big deal about it, then that's fine. I don't find it attractive when a guy no. thinks they're, like, really good-looking. I, I was quite surprised when I heard the article and I looked at it, I was expecting it to be, like, Chris Brown or something. Chris Martin? Chris Brown. No, Chris but, like, <laughs> I'd, I think everyone's got their own perception of what attractive is. Yeah. So, but I don't... So, in what way do you feel it's a disadvantage, being attractive? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I think, you know, you can... They, people, as I say, people can make snap decisions about who you are based on your looks, which bear very little res resemblance... Do people make snap good. decisions about you because of the way you look, do you think? I don't think so. I think it's down to the way you carry yourself. I don't see any negative with being attractive. No, I don't think... Yeah, it shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be a negative thing, but I think if, 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 it, becomes a, if it becomes your raison d'etre and you become obsessed by the way you look, I think it can, it, it can limit your outlook on, on, on the world. Well, tell us how, how your looks and the way you regard yourself um, defines you. You say that it's, it's, it's basically... It's made you a brand. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm super beautiful, but I have, ba have created a brand based off my appearance. So I've utilised my looks to my benefit. And what sort of people get in touch with you? To... So I work with, like, fashion brands, beauty brands. Right. So we're looking at some of your Instagram posts now. So you are an influencer <laughs> on Instagram. You've got your own beauty business. Yeah. Do you find, then, that people judge you on the way that you look? Do people look at you, as Richard was saying, and make certain assumptions about you from just what they see? I guess that's true to an extent, but when someone gets to know me, then the judgments kind of change. Mm. But do you find that frustrating, though? Um, it doesn't really bother me, particularly. Has it because limited your... I think secretly you like yeah. it. I get the impression you like it. I think I get the impression that you like people looking at you and, and judging you for your looks because it's a positive judgment. Well, I can turn it into a positive because I can make money from it. <laughs> so I think you should utilise it to your advantage. And... How would you feel? Be honest. If somebody said to you, you, say you go to a party on Saturday night and people have seen you on this show and they've read your article and they have a few too many and they come up to you, man or woman, doesn't really matter, and they say to you, how would you feel if they said to you, you're not that good looking? <laughs> would, you, would you be relieved? Would you think, oh, thank God for that? Well, no, or would, or would you be insulted? It's already happened from the article. <laughs> I, was, I was seriously trolled. I mean, Aww. every single one was, really? who the hell do you think you are? And, really? You know, and how does it make you feel? Two out of ten. Uh, How does it make you feel? Well, I mean, uh, I, I try not to, to, to base my life on the way I look, so I, I, it was kind of cruel, I suppose, but, um, yeah. you know, you have to rise above these things. But it's so. obviously... You're very conscious of it because you, you know, you sort of point to things that have happened in your past that people haven't invited you to dinner parties because they'd be worried about you stealing their <laughs> wives or yeah. something. So, you know, obviously throughout the years you've been conscious of it. Yes, I think, so. I think yeah, there is a, there's a slight wariness. There's competitiveness as well between men, I think, sometimes. Um, if... If you're if in your little group of men, if you're considered the good-looking one, and then there can be a little bit of jealousy there, I suppose, mm -hmm. between men. But, well, well um... done for speaking up on it. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with everything you say, but um, you know, you've 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 instantly attracted flack 
<laughs> yeah, oh, God, yeah. As you say, I mean, I was out. Oh, 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 yeah. Do you, do you yeah. regret see. talking about it now? Because obviously, you know, it's opened a whole can of worms. As you say, a lot of people getting in touch with you. <laughs> Is it something that you think actually maybe that wasn't? Oh, possibly. But if we can, if we can start moving away from our obsession with looks and to something slightly deeper.